Time to get into some of my maintenance projects. I think the first thing I'm going to do is tackle this corner. I'm just not going to pay attention to that right now. I'm going to focus on this unit. What a mess. Wax rendering is such a dirty chore. It'd be nice to have this removed to a separate building even. You know, you drop the block once and it makes such a mess. So I'll get the razor out. Maybe try to clean this up a little bit. Make it a little more presentable. It's just the way it is. But this unit, it seemed to have sprung a leak. Which I'm not even sure if it has because the water level is still there. But occasionally from time to time, it was leaking water out the bottom. And then you can see this line here. Like the, the level kept dropping on us. And I don't know why because it's not leaking now. What I think might be going on, and I'll have to dig in a little bit deeper, I'm gonna do this today, is I had changed this element because it burnt out on me. It's a 1500 watt, but I accidentally put a 3500 watt in there just because it was in my desk, in my drawer, and I wasn't paying attention, so I put it in there and the problem is with that, the 3500 watt uh, element, it then draws, I believe it's around 15 or 16 amps, because it's 220. And to do that, I needed a relay between the element and the controller, because the controller can only handle 12, I believe it is. So just a matter of time and the draw burnt out the computer and I had to replace it with this one. It was actually is this controller is a lot easier to use. It's just basically an on off up and down. So I love that controller. Here's an update from the previous one. So I figured that out and I put a 1500 watt element in. So then I didn't have to put a relay in between the uh, the element and the controller because I think the 1500 watt is you know then it would be around that six or seven amps you know this being 12 or so so the controller would act as a relay itself so I got that figured out but I think maybe I don't know what's going on but I'm going to take a look around to make sure I have it sealed properly around the element and if that checks out that I'm going to have to take this jacket off and just inspect some of the uh, you know, see, uh, seams. Just make sure that everything's intact so it doesn't do whatever it's doing now. A little bit of diagnosis required. This is a pretty handy unit though. I just love it. It sits here and it just cooks all day long, pretty much all season long. It doesn't cost a lot to run it. It's very well insulated. In fact, when we turn it off to run the full cycle through the slum, if we leave the lid on, it, it doesn't cool down enough to be able to harden the wax. So this thing draws very little electricity to maintain its operation. Unlike my old one, it just cooked continuously. Good old girl. I actually need two of these. I might, I'm just on the fence. I'm just depending on where I spend my budget this year, but I need two because this thing gets behind within the season and the way I have carry run it, it involves work on the weekend because we run the full cycle through the week the weekend we press out the slum to have it fresh and ready to go on monday but if i had two units then we could run them simultaneously so one would be cooking the other one would be fulfilling the full slum cycle so we could achieve our work within the work day instead of having to extend our day to uh to fulfill the full cycles so two would be the ticket 
just put that on the list. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to lift this up, put it onto my workbench, turn on some music, and then start diagnosing the situation. Thirsty, eh? Patience, patience. <sighs> Two hours later. Patience, patience. Give me patience. Worth my life. One down. Five to go. Good news and annoying news. The good news is I don't see any structural flaws within this water jacket. And the cracks I see here, that's just a lip. The insulation goes underneath that lip. So whatever reason the, that crack there, it has nothing to do with the water jacket. That's good news. Now what's causing my issue? I think I have to speculate a little bit and I'm coming up with a conclusion. So 
So what I think is going on is the reason why the level is lowering on me is probably just natural gas off. You know, I probably have it set, I have it set about 90 degrees. So the water level is probably naturally, I need to top it up more often. The leak that I'm seeing probably is not related whatsoever in the water level dropping then. What I'm probably seeing is whenever I change the, the element here, water is released or oil, whatever I have in here. And whenever I top it up here and spill, whatever gets stuck behind the sheath falls down onto this plate and it's trapped here with the sheet sheath on the outside. So what I think I'm seeing is that moisture being caught in and underneath. So then it just continually and every once in a while leaks out on me. That's not good. So what I'm going to do is drill some holes to relieve that issue. So if there is any water that falls behind the insulation or behind the sheath, and it ends up down on the bottom plate, it'll find its way out through some holes. It'll end up rotting that plate. So I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. I'm gonna clean the insulation up a little bit and drill some holes and put her back together and see if it works. Because as far as I can tell, there is nothing wrong structurally with this unit. So that is the good news and the annoying news. <laughs>